Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program version 1.1 now, yes, with Reinstein. We're playing the career mode, and uh, this is the second episode where we're going to try and do some new stuff. So, we've got two new contracts to do. One is test the TR-18A stack decoupler in flight over Kerbin. Now that has some stipulations, we need to reach an altitude of at least 54,000 meters. And we need a speed of between 130 to 1760 meters per second. So that should be relatively easy to meet. But in this one mission, I wanted to um, complete the contract where they want me to test the radial decouplers. So in order to do that, I had to be a little bit careful about where I placed them on our rocket. So what I've done is built this rocket here. got a whole bunch of these FLT-100 fuel tanks. Obviously still got the LVT-45 swivel fuel engine. Um, then I've got the decoupler, and then under that, I, I think I may need a heat shield, I may not, I'm not sure yet. So I've got that here, simply because of the altitude we're reaching, I imagine we're going to get some uh, heating up of our rocket as we re-enter. So, yeah, we've got the decoupler, so at that height we will decouple. Then we'll plummet back down to the ground, and once we splash down, I'm going to aim towards the water. Once we splash down, then we can test the radial decouplers either by pressing space or just by right-clicking and pressing run. Now, let's choose who we want to pilot this. Should we have Valentina or should we have Jebediah for this one? I think, yeah, we'll let Valentina have a little go. All right, are you ready? Fingers crossed this works first time, all right? Look at the state of our launch pads. The RKSA has no money right now. All right, let's just take off and see where we get to. All right, now we're not taking Mystery Goo with us. I could have perhaps done that as well, but uh, I think once we get high enough, here we go, we can even take some um, some science here. So I'm gonna grab that while I can. And we're going over 100 meters per second now, so I'm actually gonna tilt slightly to the right. Now, because our rocket's relatively simple, it's not, um, it's not tipping over or anything like that. It's, I think uh, the weight of the rocket above is easily controlled by the swivel fuel engine here. I'm just going to reduce my speed a little bit. Now, I don't have any mods installed just yet. I will be using Kerbal Engineer Redux, which I love, and that will tell me what my apoapsis is, which is important for meeting uh, the stipulations of this contract. But for now, since we don't have that, we're going to have to eyeball it. So we're going to take a look at the map view here and see what my apoapsis is going to be. 17,000 meters and climbing. So if I increase my speed, let's try and whack that up to like at least 54,000 meters. How much fuel have we got? It should be enough to get me there. We've got a nice altitude. Yeah, so once it gets to 54 to 60,000, I'm just going to cut my engine, I think. There we go, that'll do. That looks good to me. All right, now we can concentrate on other things. So I wonder if we could... If we review this report, I should have brought maybe the uh, transmitter, then we could have um, sent back the data. No matter. Oh, I think I just reset that. Let's keep this keep this experiment, then that gives me more science. All right, how high are we going to get? Let's check again. 62,000. See, gravity's still working, so the apoapsis is actually decreasing. All right, we want to slow down now. We've met our objective of testing the stack decoupler, so we will get rid of that now are we heading towards the water yeah easily okay so here we go we are reaching our apoapsis and we're going to start heading down towards the lovely ocean of Kerbin now we should be able to get some more data by EVAing in the water as well so that's kind of handy all right I'm slightly worried about heating up here let's see I've got 40 ablator in here. That's something you want to be careful of, guys, because if I'd have had 200 ablator in here, that's five times as much, and that would drastically reduce the uh, distance you can fly your rocket. So you can right-click on the heat shield in the VAB, in the building where you construct your rocket, and uh, simply use the slider to reduce the amount of um, ablator you're taking with you. The ablator is like the material that is uh, in the heat shield to absorb the heat, basically. All right, we're coming down nice and fast. Valentina Kerbin is looking rather happy. Let's take a look out. All, all we can see is a nice blue sky again. Lovely, lovely. All right, we're going to need to open our parachute. Let's do that. Here we go, coming down. Hopefully the parachute's going to work. I wonder if the parachutes ever fail, if there's like a failure state sometimes. 
Hey, you can see the moon over there. You can see a giant crater there as well. That's uh, potentially a big asteroid impact site. Cool, here we go. Coming down. And once we hit the water, then that's when all I have to do, look, if I um, right click these, I can probably run test once I'm in the water, but I'm just going to press space because that's all I've got to do. That's my next stage. So simple as here we go. We're coming down at a nice speed and we have touchdown. All right. Now check this out. Boom. Off go the <laughs> off go the decouplers. Look at that. That's splash down over there. That's awesome. All right. Now if we EVA our pilot Valentina, get a little EVA report. I don't think a space soup was entirely necessary to get here, was it? I don't know. Alright, what happens if I go in the water? Can we get different different amount of science? No, 3.2. 3.2 is about it then. Alright, cool. Let's board our ship and go to recover our vessel. Let's see what goodies we've got. 7.8 science earned. So we've got 26 science. That'll enable us to unlock something extra in the research tree. Whoa, we got 242,000 funds now. And Valentina has got one XP. Sweet. I think if you level your Kerbals up, then they get, like, uh, extra stats and stuff. Let's see. Uh, so yeah, so if we click on Jebediah, you can see pilots provide assistance in flying the vessel. Effects, stability assist. Log, flight at Kerbin 1. I think as they get more XP, they get more ability to or more, yeah just stats increase I'll, I'll try and look through that a little bit further as we get through in our playthrough um yeah so let's go to the research tree we can obviously unlock stability if we want we've got radial decouplers winglets aerodynamic nose cone or we can go for general rocketry who doesn't like general rocketry now if i unlock this this may open up the chance to get into orbit around Kerbin. so i'm actually going to go for that let's select that and we now are bereft of contracts. So what other contracts can we do? Haul Mark 12 R radial mount drogue chute into flight above Kerbin. Haul the solid fuel booster into flight above Kerbin. Well, they want me to get that quite high and at quite a specific speed. So I might leave that one. Test the radial mount parachute. That should be easy to do. Um, you can see the altitude they want me to aim for is quite low and the speed. So that's easy. We'll grab that one. Um, haul the Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. Again, that's quite a specific speed and height, so I think I'm going to go for those. Well, let's check the details of them again. We might be able to achieve both of them in the same mission. Yeah, I think we can. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and design a rocket and I will present my rocket to you in a moment. Alrighty guys, I think I've settled on a design that can achieve this these two particular contracts. Remember, it's to test the Mark II R radial mount parachute and haul the Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. Now they've got very specific speeds and altitudes to reach, but they actually overlap each other. So if as long as I can keep above 40 meters per second and below and between 10 and 11 thousand meters when I run my test. We should be good to complete these two contracts with this one rocket. So, are you ready? I think Jebediah is going to pilot this one. Let's get to the launch pad now. What I'm going to do is gather a lot of speed really quickly. And then I'm going to keep an eye on the speed and altitudes that I need to reach. Now, if I just take a quick look here, I can see what my highest point on my trajectory is going to be. So... Let's just throttle way back now because we're going really fast for the altitude we're at. Uh, Jebediah is looking slightly terrified of me at the moment. Now we're, we've managed to achieve the height we want for the radial mount parachutes, but not the speed. We need to be... Oh yeah, we have now. And all we need to do now is get to 10,000 meters and be below 80 meters per second. Like I said, these are very specific objectives that you want me to achieve now I might need to give it a little bit more thrust here in order to get to that 10,000 meters altitude this is quite a difficult uh, couple of contracts to try and achieve at the same time but I thought I'd kick it up a notch and try and use a bit more skill than I did in my last uh, playthrough on 1.05 so there we go we've now got to our altitude let's press space yes and both of our parachutes are deployed now we begin the descent back down can we get a crew report while we're up here we can. 3.5 science. Lovely. Now, all we need to worry about now is, do these parachutes have the stopping ability, stopping capability, to uh, 
you know, land this relatively large rocket safely. Uh, I imagine these are still quite heavy, these fuel tanks, especially as they've still got, what, nearly half a fuel tank. Uh, they're nearly half full as well, so yeah, I think we're good. It's below 7 meters per second, hovering around 6.5 to 7. Jebediah looks relatively happy. He's, uh, he's like, yeah, this ain't too bad. The RKSA is going places. So this is going to be another success, I think. 150 meters in a moment we'll be able to say yay or nay. Have we landed safely? 6.4 meters per second. Hey, we've landed and it managed to stand vertical as well. I'm like Jeff, Jeff Bezos and the SpaceX uh, people who landed their rocket vertically back on Earth. Awesome. All right, so now let's be happy. We've completed these two contracts. We can now recover our rocket. So 3.5 science earned gets us up to 15 science. Uh, primarily, we wanted the funds, though. So we've got 303,000 uh, funds now. No more reputation for Jebediah or XP. Brilliant. So 15.3. I don't think that's enough to unlock this. We need 18 uh, 18 science points. All right, well, that wraps up this episode. Um, please join me for the next episode where we'll try and complete some more contracts. We may even get further up into the atmosphere of Kerbin. How exciting. <laughs> please leave a like. Uh, if anyone wants to support me on Patreon, please do so. I know I'm asking a lot, but I'm really struggling financially to keep this channel alive. Uh, since my move to Sweden, I've got no income. So I'm screwed. <laughs> um, please also share my videos, leave a like, leave a comment. I want to hear from you guys. Let's get involved. Take care, everyone. The RKSA is going on a holiday. See ya.